Hey there guys, in the backyard again. So, um, wanted to do a quick video on something that I've seen lots of guys doing on YouTube, on their channel, and um, every time I see it, I just cringe. Gotta be honest with you. Um, you know, it's how I see them handling uh, their knives or their machetes, and they're splitting down wood or cutting down wood, and um, I just wanted to share my opinion on the whole thing and and some of the techniques and skills you know now yeah i know what they say about opinions everybody has one um that notwithstanding uh here's my opinion on the whole thing so um i got these little pieces of wood here we're gonna use these and um whether you're using you know a little knife or if you're gonna use a machete, um, it's important that the first thing that you should always be doing is protecting your hands, okay? I see a lot of guys, um, you know, they're, they're gonna cut the, they're gonna try and split this little log here, right? And uh, I don't even wanna demonstrate it the way I see them doing it. I'm gonna turn the machete to the back and I see them putting the machete here and then trying to take up, hang on, here, trusty baton. Uh, they're trying to do this here and then trying to get the baton to strike it there and then it falls and they're working around and trying to pick up the stick um, with the blade exposed, eh? Or, with this little knife, maybe, you know, they're here doing that, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, and that's where they can get cut, all right? Or it falls and they're trying to catch it. That's where they're gonna get cut, okay? So I don't like that. So the first thing you need to do is to put on gloves, okay? So, okay, so here we are with some protection for our hands, right? Now, Then they continue like that, right? And they're trying to, but that still is pretty dangerous. So I'm gonna show you how I do it, okay? I keep the baton in my dominant hand. That's what I'm gonna pound down the knife with, okay? And I use the baton to hold whatever it is I'm splitting. So I can split like this. And I'm splitting, 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 splitting. Here we go. And we split. And then I put down the knife. And yeah, I'm holding this. Go there. Okay. Let go of the knife. Let go of the knife. If you're gonna keep anything in your hand, it should be the baton, okay? And you position your stick like that, whatever it is you want to split, put your knife, and there you go. You split, okay? Good. So that's the first thing, all right? Splitting. Now, sometimes the ground is soft or it could be muddy, you know, and uh, where is it? I have one. Sometimes you need a good hard surface, like a rock. But no, you never, you never want to be doing that. Because now you're going to pound your knife into the rock. You don't want to do that. So here, get your knife, put it there, and pound this. There you go. The most that you're gonna damage, maybe the tip, maybe. Eh? You don't need to do that. You don't need to pound your edge into the rock. Let's get another piece. Hold that there. That there. So now we have a firm surface to pound this down, right? Okay, but we don't need to kill it. We don't need giant Herculean, you know, here no 
Take your time. Take your time. There. When you get there, just it'll split. All right. Take care of your hands, people. Take care of your cutting tools. All right. Very important. All right. So I just split up some wood here. Off camera. You guys don't need to watch me split wood, right? So here's another pet peeve of mine. I don't know. Maybe I'm stupid. A lot of people would agree with that statement. But anyway, so here's the thing. Um, this is just for demonstration purposes, right? And they slide down. I'm going to use this just to stop my knife from hitting here, right? They slide down and then they go like that. So they cut, they cut, let's see, and then they go like that. And they cut, and then they go like that to try and bend the feather off, right? Like that. They go down and like that. And they slide and like that. And they slide and like that. I don't like that idea of turning the knife. Yeah, I did it for demonstration purposes and then when I'm done, I'm gonna go hone this back. But I think that when you turn the knife over like that, even though it's only wood, there's still a microscopic bit of metal that forms the sharp edge here and i think when you turn the knife it curls it over which just makes it get dull faster so i've never recommended that you want to make a feather stick you slide and you get actually this is turning out pretty good better than i thought okay so you slice and there's no need to turn the knife okay they'll still pop off and they'll still form some nice curls that you could get a nice feather stick with instead of having to curl them over. All right, so yeah, just an opinion or two on the subject. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Oh, I forgot. Did I introduce my birds? Yeah, leftover from um, dove season. I had them out as decoys. Worked pretty well. Um, no, they don't have names. Maybe you guys can suggest some names for the two of them. Anyway, obviously, that's if you have nothing else to do. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Take care, stay safe. Enjoy the outdoors, and I'll catch you next time, all right?